Uh, my name's James Thompson and I'm a photographer from South East London. Uh, I think I've always found it quite hard to categorise the kind of photos that I take into like a portraiture or documentary kind of way because I've always just kind of carried a camera with me but I think over the past few years I've been gravitating towards this idea that photography can be a tool for discussion and learning and the sharing of lived experiences and then in turn a great vessel for something like self-therapy. Especially recently when the COVID-19 pandemic has meant that a lot of us have been working from home and it's kind of blurred the lines between these work and leisure spaces and our work and leisure time. We realised as a group that uh, we didn't really have anywhere immediately available to us that we could talk about the pandemic and our experiences. Um, and I believe that art has this inherently therapeutic nature to it, where we're able to talk about things and rationalise them so they're a lot easier to have conversations about. Yeah, that's, that's when the idea for the zine came about. We thought it would be really important to create a space where people could talk about everything that's happened over the last year and the benefits that something like an art practice could have uh, in a time when everyone's been going through a lot. Um, we thought we could ask artists uh, about the last year and how their time has been and how they've used their practice as a way to kind of cope with things or to be able to rationalise these really horrible times into something a little bit more pal palatable and easier to talk about. Asking artists to talk about uh, the last year and this time of perceived leisure when we're able to take a step back from our daily lives. Uh, however, many of us know that that really wasn't the case. It's been this really weird time of like extreme mutual isolation that everyone's kind of been going through but has dealt with and had very different experiences with. Once we put our open call, um, when we started to get submissions back, we realised how differently a lot of people were reacting to the pandemic and that was kind of expressed in the work that we got. I think it really encapsulates how we, how everyone might rationalise their experiences into something that's easier to start a conversation with through an art practice and discussion of ideas. I think it can be quite daunting to start talking about a lot of the things that we're dealing with. Um, so it was really important for us to make this as uh, informal and inclusive as possible so people felt that they could talk freely about their experiences rather than having to have these big scary conversations that no one really feels like they want to have. I think that the zine release coinciding with this transitional period where lockdown restrictions are easing and everything's starting to feel slightly more normal, um, it's, it's going to be a great place to kind of think about art and therapy together and how they might work together so we can start having these conversations, not just about the pandemic but about mental health and relationships and really anything.